out of the uh, yeah. out of inside the chicken house that's been in there for a long time. That's got manure yeah. and old hay yeah. and bedding. Yeah. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm hiding. What are you hiding from? Yeah. I can see you. Don't pu ah, ah, don't push on the plastic with that shovel, okay? You'll tear my plastic up. I already did that. I already opened that vent. Hey, Houston, look at me, boy. What are we gonna do this morning? Um, we're gonna plant one of those. We're going to plant some of those plants over there? Yeah. You want to take it off now? You warm already? Mm -hmm. You need some help? No? All right. Ready? All right. Houston and I are out here in the high tunnel this morning. It's getting warm out here. It was about 45 degrees this morning. But in this high tunnel, it's getting warm fast. It's probably 65, 60 something degrees outside. And uh, in here, it's about 80, 85. Got the doors open, all the vents open. And Houston and I are fixing to do some planting, aren't we? All the seeds that we started in those soil blocks over there a couple weeks ago are uh, coming up pretty good. And we got some beds prepped and ready to go. Oh, not that one. This one right here. We got a bed prepped and ready. And uh, I'll show you where we're at on our soil blocks and everything that's growing in there. And we're fixing, yeah. to, fixing to put some of that in the ground, aren't we? Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay. Okay, so we didn't have the best germination on some of this stuff, but some of it's doing pretty good. Oh. There's our spinach. It's coming along. I'd say we probably got maybe 60% yeah. germination. I don't know. It was some older spinach That's seed. Some, that and then this tray this. was planted a little later. That's but it can go in the ground. Hang on. Don't shake my... Don't shake it. I'm not going to uh, shake these it. Are, these are all beets. Um, I put three or four beet seeds in every soil block. Daddy, I want to do it. Hey, give me just a second and I'll let you have it, okay? Okay. So, beets, man, those things are doing wonderfully. They were new seed. Yeah. These are watermelon radishes. I've never grown a watermelon radish, but <gasps> watermelon uh, another radishes? YouTuber recommended Yummy. them. I like that. You like radishes? Yeah, I like those kind. You like those kind of radishes? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, anyways, watermelon radishes for the first time. Uh, my bok choy seed obviously was a little old. It didn't uh, didn't get a real good germination, but I'll get several plants out of there. They'll do all right. There's some kale. Look at all that kale, Houston. We got to get busy on that kale. There's little tiny worms. There's little tiny worms. Little tiny worms. Yeah. We've been spraying it with BT for the last couple of days. So we're gonna see if we can get those worms killed off of that kale before they eat it all up. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. What's the next one? Tell me what's down there, Houston. Carrots. Go show us. This is carrots. That's carrots? Yeah. That's your favorite thing to grow. Ooh, Houston wants the video. He was already on. You got to go slow, okay? Get down close. Look at all those carrots growing. Quit. It's already recording. Look at all those carrots growing. So our carrot bed that we planted, um, the way Danny and Wanda, Houston, that water's not hooked up yet. It's not on. Our carrot bed that we planted like Danny did at Deep South Homestead is doing really well. Look at all those carrots. Let's look at it's growing these really ones. well. All right, go show me what you got down there, Houston. Um, beans. Beans? Yeah. Which, which one's beans? These The ones. big ones back there? Yep, you guys were with us when Houston planted those beans, and they're coming along pretty well. Hang on, bud. I want to do it. And, uh, hang on. Those are radishes, just regular old radishes that are coming along. They grow so fast. Don't hit the record button. It's already recording, bud. Okay, we got radishes, and they're getting overshadowed by beans. And then down here is just a little bit of mustard greens. I don't really like mustard greens, but my mother-in-law does, so I told her I'd plant a little bit. And uh, they're doing okay. We'll see how they handle it with having the beans covering them. And then lettuce is growing really well, and some some broccoli. You see any worms on the broccoli, Houston? Well, no, there isn't. No worms? All right. So let's get busy planting our other stuff, okay? Yeah. Don't touch. 
touch it, please. You can look at it, but don't touch it. Okay. You get on that side. Okay. All right, Houston. I want to do this. Hang on, whoa, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, I'll get them out, okay? I'll get you to I'll, finish. I'll, I won't break them. I know. You dig a hole. You dig a hole. Okay. You can just do it with your hands if you want. Easy. Don't sling my dirt everywhere. All right, that's good. That's good. All right. We're going to put this spinach right here, and then we're going to put dirt around it just like this, okay? Easy. So I prepped this bed yesterday. I came in. This row here had okra in it. And I pulled out all those okra plants. I don't have a broad fork, but I've got a big potato fork. And I didn't till this soil, but I took that potato fork and drove it in the ground. And easy. Hang on just a minute. Opened up the soil. And then I went to the chicken house. And uh, I didn't just get easy. Hang on. Just wait. I didn't just get straight manure. But I got no. some of the old dirt out of the uh, yeah. out of inside the chicken house that's mm -hmm. been in there for a long time. That's got manure yeah. and old hay yeah. and bedding. Yeah. <laughs> and I brought some of that in. I put about a half inch of that stuff, and I worked it into the soil really well with my my wheel hoe, and kind of built me a bed. Put my drip tape down, and we're putting these soil block plants that we planted right now. We're working on spinach, and Houston is really enjoying planting these little plants. Easy. I am easy. He says he's easy, but these little plants don't agree, I don't think. Mm. And there's those three trays of spinach. Some of them are a little small, but they should do okay. Houston, I don't think he destroyed too many of them. I think they'll be all right. I'm gonna water them in really good. I know they're on a drip system, but when I plant this stuff, I always water them in after I get through planting with just with the hose, just just to make sure they got good soil contact all the way around, and then that drip irrigation will be sufficient. So all of this right here is bok choy or pot choy, depending on where you're from and how you want to say it. That weed out of there. We grow this stuff all the time we, we're big juicers we juice a lot of our greens and this stuff has a really high water content it's really good stuff a lot of people saute it uh, bok choy is a, like an Asian green that's used in stir fries and such so there's one succession and I've got that other tray over there that isn't doing really well but I've got some plants and I'm gonna continue this row on down I've already kind of broke the row up a little bit <clears throat> but I'm gonna show you what I do with my potato fork to loosen the soil because I'm not going to till this. I'll show you what I do real quick. Okay, so a lot of organic guys, a lot of, a lot of uh, the, your better organic gardeners don't, don't do much tilling. They try not to till the soil and disturb all the, the small you know, earthworms and things in there. So they use a broad fork, which is a lot bigger than a potato fork. But this, the general concept, all you're doing is just pushing that down into the soil and lifting. You're just aerating the soil a little bit. Potato fork probably doesn't get near as deep as a broad fork. But in this high tunnel, the ground's pretty good shape. It's in decent shape. I'm just loosening the soil a little bit. Okay. And everything's loose. I just make a really nice little seed bed for my plants. Now, okay, here's what I'm adding that comes out of my chicken house. It's just cleaning up the floor of my chicken house it's a dirt floor so it's a combination of just dirt old bedding and manure mixed together it's been in there for a long time I hadn't cleaned up my floor of my chicken house in a while so it's got a few feathers and some old straw bedding left in it it hadn't actually been composted down but like I said it's not straight manure and I'm not adding a lot I'm just sprinkling a layer over the top And I'll work it in. I'm going to take my fork and work this stuff in a little bit. But I've already, I've already uh, 
forked this bed really well to open it all up. I'm just incorporating this stuff. Try not to poke a hole in my water line there, but I just want that organic matter to get worked down into the soil. Now I realize this isn't the perfect ideal stuff to put on here. I mean, really, ideally, you probably do want it composted down. I don't have any fresh compost right now. I'm just adding organic matter into my bed. Um, like I said, it's not straight manure. It's not going to be real hot. And what manure is in it, a lot of it's really old. Um, I just haven't had a problem doing this. It's worked out great. Uh, yeah, there's some old straw. There may be a little grass seed in there, but as long as it's been in that chicken house, you know, they picked that bedding pretty clean. They picked through it. Um, I don't know. It works great for me. So there's my bok choy. Uh, like I said, I didn't get real good germination. I had some old seed, but you know, there's still several plants in there and we've got a lot here to still go through. So once we get those about played out, these should be coming along and I'll get some more started pretty soon. That's it, simple as that. Another eight feet or so of bok choy. Well guys, there you have it. <clears throat> That's how I plant my soil blocks after I get them up and ready to go. Some of those plants could have gone another week or two and been just fine, but in this high tunnel, they're gonna stay pretty protected. I'm not too concerned about, you know, wind or, or rain beating them down or anything like that. So I think they'll be okay in here as long as I keep them watered well. And it's time to start my next succession of crops in my soil blocks. So I uh, picked up another bag of potting mix this morning and I'll probably this afternoon after the sun gets off this high tunnel get out here and, and build me up some more soil blocks and and get my next set of seeds in the in the in the soil and, and coming along so that's what's happening in the greenhouse in the high tunnel uh, Houston gave up on me he got a little hot and wore out and so he's in the house I'm gonna go in and get some lunch and hey guys thanks for watching I hope you enjoy it uh, I know I'm I'm not a uh, super expert on this high tunnel stuff but but i'm learning and guys thanks for watching thanks for sticking around with me and uh we'll see how it goes and uh you guys have a great day thanks for watching and we'll see you next time have a good nap there little baby i'm not a baby you sure look like a baby no i don't your mama's holding you like a baby yeah